Mama. My frame. What's going on here? Oh, okay. All right. So here we are. Do you see my breath? We're back in Denver. And today is Monday. It's my first day back into the groove. I'm feeling pretty good. You know, it's kind of hard to get back into the groove of things, but uh, we're gonna do it. Today we just got some office stuff. And then I have to get my phone fixed because the speaker, like, we listen when you're on the phone. It's not working very well. So, gotta get that fixed. I have to get some groceries because I came home last night and I have no food. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I have this huge pimple forming on my head, which is great. Uh, we're fighting that with a passion, so it does not become a huge boil on my face. So yeah, if you see glimpses of that bad boy, you're welcome. You good. Yes. Uh oh, it's on the floor. I'm sorry. Wait. So I went to Target and I was going to take the camera, but of course I forgot. Oh, I just want to show you a couple things that I got. But, so my mom wants a um, toothbrush for Christmas. So, knock that off the old list. I thought this was a good one. I have no idea. Never bought a toothbrush. My ex-boyfriend was a dentist, so he bought mine. And then I also left my uh, body trimmer and beard trimmer on the trip. So decided to go with the old Panasonic adjustable. The other one that I had was uh, you had to clip the things on it and I lost almost all of them. So I thought this would be nice to like just have it on there and adjust it. And you can do a wet shave. So I don't know who wet shaves, but uh, got that bad boy. And then just a bunch of food, nothing else exciting. Oh, sorry I didn't take you guys with me, but hopefully that made up for it. Did it? I don't know. So I gotta unpack this really quick, and then we're gonna head to spin. We'll ride it out. When in doubt, ride it out. Yeah! in where my trim mark should be, trim length should be, because we're a little short today. Yeah, it's a little short, and I feel like not quite myself. Um, so anyway, so I am on my way to Boulder to take a updated contracts class, and I just wanted to show you guys this view. The drive to Boulder is insane. If you don't live here, it's crazy. And I think that when you live in Colorado that you kind of take advantage of it or like, you know, you get desensitized to it. So anyway, I'm gonna give you a little taste of what it's like to go to Boulder. Anyway, I was talking about my jacket. So why I'm wearing this jacket so much is because uh, my mom and I went to Amsterdam uh, where I have some family uh, about two years ago, I think. And um, so she bought me this jacket while I was there, but I was a little bit smaller. I've been trying to hit the gym quite a bit. So I've been trying to wear this jacket as much as I can because it's not gonna fit very soon. Because I'm getting to be a chunker, chunker monk here. Anyway, I also wanted to talk about, and I just talked about, um, did we watch Below Deck last night? I had anxiety throughout the whole, I love coming to Boulder because there's cute guys always running. He's not that cute, but, you see him? No, he's not that cute. Take it back. Anyway, uh, the whole Kate and Josiah thing, like her, them, so Chandler got fired, right? 
He was cute, but he was such a douche, right? Um, and then the third Sue, I can't remember her name. I think Chandler's the boat's insane. Anyway, so uh, she quit. And I didn't initially, I thought she was being a baby, but, and I didn't initially think that Kay and Josiah were bullying her, but then watching that footage back of them like, blasting the music, I'm like, that's bullying, right? Yeah. Um, so I didn't really like that at all. Then the like the charter brokers, the broker, the people that do charters all the time, and the brokers that um, charter the boats were on there. They're down like two people, and they already were doing well. And I'm like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? So it was really intense for me, but uh, I loved it. Anyway, I gotta finish parking because there's no parking here at the Boulder Area Association of Realtors. So let me figure this out, and I'll check in with you later. Okay, bye. Ugh. I wonder how this looks. Hey, baby. Don't lick me. Is that good dinner? Is that good dinner? Hmm? And the puppy had his dinner. Okay, so update. He's gonna jump on me. Update, yes, I am laying on the floor. Just because you know, don't you just like to lay on the floor sometimes and just like chill out when you get home? Actually, I was sitting next to the dog while he was eating. It makes him feel more comfortable. Anywho, so today I went to the Apple store to get my phone fixed, right? Because the speaker wasn't working. So let me tell you this process, okay? What happened? So my phone, the speaker, like the top speaker, like up here on top, that was, it was like super muffled. So I turned it up. And all the way and it would be super muffled and you know I use my phone for work and I just really need it to work so I this happened before I went on the cruise and so I was like I'll just deal with it when I get back so the process is that you sign up on the Apple website for an appointment and the next Apple appointment for the Apple store was until like Saturday this was Monday right because I got back into town I'm like I have to deal with this and so I was like, well, I can't wait until Saturday. And so now I was like, oh, this is cool because you can go to like Best Buy or, you know, they have these appointments at, at these other places that you can get your phone fixed. So I was like, that's really cool. Was like, oh my God. Again, once again, I was like yammering on. I need to start paying attention to the record light. Does anybody have this issue with their GoPro? So they like, I'm just talking away and literally it's not recording. Okay, so I don't remember what I was saying. I think I said that I was making, that I made an appointment at, at Best Buy, but uh, it was gonna be a long time before I could get into the Apple store, right? So they have this new feature on the site that you can make an appointment at these other places like Best Buy or I don't know, some other places. So I was like, oh cool, I'll make an appointment at Best Buy right down the street from my office. And, um, and so anyway, so I went to Best Buy and so they, I went to the Geek Squad, which they're awesome. They're so sweet and so nice. And so she uh, put my phone on this dock thing. And maybe I'm late to the game on this. I have no idea, but they ran a diagnostic where they, it made like a bunch of beeps and stuff. And, uh, and then I guess the phone listens back to it to hear if the speaker's working. And the diagnostic said that my speaker wasn't working. And she goes, okay, well we can send it into Apple, but it's gonna take five days. And I'm like, I can't be without my phone for five days. I'm sorry. Like, even if I didn't use it for work, there's no way. So she said, okay, we'll just take it to the Apple store and they will be able to exchange it out for you right in the store. So, okay. So I came home and I made an appointment for the Apple store. Somehow I got into the one in Cherry Creek this afternoon because the appointments again were like pushed way out. So I went to the mall and I went to the Apple store and this it was is my big gripe. Like, I don't know about you guys and your experiences in the Apple store, but I feel like it's always such a shit show. Uh, like, you know, I walk in, I never get greeted by anybody ever. Like, even when I'm trying to buy something, like I'll be trying to buy a phone or something like that and like I have to run, track somebody down to help me purchase something. Um, so anyway, I got there and it was no different. I mean, there's just people everywhere. It's just complete chaos. And so I go back to the Genius Bar and they're like, oh, you need to go check in up front. And I'm like, well, well, with who? And they're like, oh, there's people upstairs up front catching everybody that comes in. I'm like, okay. 
So I go up front and I find so the guy's like, what's wrong with your phone? And I go, well, I'm here to exchange out. He's like, what's wrong with your phone? I'm like, I'm sorry, I, the, the, the speaker's not working. And so he like types in his little thing. He's like, go wait over by the table over there. I'm like, okay. So I was waiting there for 15 minutes. And you know, I get it. Like I used to work in retail. I used to work at Finish Line when I was younger. And I, you know, I know that people like, the customers can be dicks, right? So I get that. Um, but still, I was waiting there for 15 minutes and then the chick that came out totally had an attitude about it. And I'm like, oh great, here we go. So anyway, so she did the stand thing. She put it on the stand and it made all the noises and she's like, yeah, it's broken. Let me go get some tools to like try to fix it. And so she came back and so she basically cleaned it out with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol and then blew um, like that that air that you clean your, that are your keyboards with on it. And so she ran the test again. She put it on the dock and it made all the little noise. She goes, it, it passed this time. It's like, oh, cool. So she's like, here, have your friend call you and see if it works any better. So he called me and uh, so it worked. So it fixed it. But you know, my whole gripe about the whole Apple thing is like, it just seems like so inefficient. Can we not have a kiosk where we can just buy stuff or can we not like, like, I, I just don't know. I just seem so inefficient and I just am so frustrated when I leave there all the time. And I feel like, okay, Apple's a big company and they've probably figured out that this is the most efficient way to do things and blah, blah, blah. But I don't ever, I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me, do you guys have a really good like customer experience with Apple every time you go in the store? I don't think I ever have. And the people are just kind of rude and it's just always chaos and it's stressful. I don't know, I feel like they can really improve that system, especially when you're spending a, ch a ton of money on this stuff, you know? Um, so anyways, that was my gripe of today. After that, I just worked out and I came home and then make a little food. I'm gonna make leftovers, I think, and like try to get a little work done and chill. And yeah, nothing really exciting. So that was my day. That's my gripe of the day, that the Apple store is just kind of crazy. I'm glad I got my phone fixed. That was good, because I didn't want to have to buy a new one. And yeah, I don't know. I think that's all I had to say. So I just dropped off the puppy at my mom's house. And now I'm gonna go try to pick up a prescription before I get my nose waxed. I am gonna try to bring the camera in, try to remember to bring the camera in and let her or film it. <laughs> this is very interesting. It doesn't hurt like you would think it would, you know? Like if you pull out one hair, it hurts so bad, right? Um, but when they rip them all out, it doesn't really hurt. So anyway, I'll try to bring you guys along and you guys can check it out for yourselves. Oh, by the way, it is a, a gloomy, gloomy day here in Colorado. I think it's supposed to snow later, which is gonna be super fun to drive home in. I don't think it's supposed to be a lot of snow though. So is it? Oh, there you can see. My nose hairs are gone. It's like the worst when you're talking to somebody and like they have a hair hanging out of their nose, their nose, and you're just like, I don't want to pluck it. So I don't want to be that person. So that's why I get my nose wax. Mom's house. What'd you make, Mom? Meatloaf, um, baked potato, green bean casserole, and baked yam. Mmm, cute. Cute. Good treat. <laughs> what is up, you guys? My hair is crazy, like it always is at the end of the day, as you guys can tell. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my first vlog. I promise I will get better over time. So why don't you just go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you can watch me get better over time, right? You know you want to. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and 
I will catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>